dearest Big Sue, I am so sorry for not coming around and visiting as often as I once did. You would not believe the year that I have had. In fact, I almost didn't believe it, or rather, remember it. It has been about a year since I woke up from the craziest dream I have ever had, a dream that at times felt so real. But when I woke up, everything was gone. Everything. Stephanie was straddling me in the hospital. I didn't know who she was. I didn't even know who I was. <laughs> None of my memories were there. They weren't even distant memories. They were just gone, forgotten. And I had no purpose, no identity. And thus began my year to reignite the light. But this time it wasn't about reigniting the guiding light. It was about reigniting the light that was inside of me. It had not only just dimmed, but it had shut off completely. And I know since I'm back here talking to you, you probably have reason to believe that I was successful. Well, I don't want to get ahead of myself because the journey is worth resharing. So if you have a moment, Big Sue, I would like to tell you all that has happened since we last spoke. It's just not funny anymore, Tamara. I am sick and tired of not remembering anything that has happened in my past, and I just want to scream out into the universe, joke's over. I get it, Paul. But please, understand, nobody thinks your situation is funny. You would be surprised. Well, I'm not sure what you mean by that, but let me assure you that flatlining in the hospital and losing all your memories, these are not punchlines. I know. None of this is funny. Can we just agree to move on? Absolutely. All right, so, how are you feeling about what we talked about last week? Right, rebranding. I, oh, I am really into this idea a lot. Like, I'm all for it. Especially because I don't have any of my memories. So the idea of starting over from scratch and rebooting and rebranding my life, I'm all for it. What does that look like? I haven't got a clue. <laughs> but I do like exploring this new version of me, this Paul 2.0, if you will. I do know, though, that it involves Doyle. So you've gone ahead and made it official with Doyle? We are solid. He has been so kind and wonderful and supportive throughout all of this. And he, he also agrees that this would be a good time to restart my life. Oh, well, that sounds like he cares very deeply for you. He does, and I truly care about him a lot. And uh, it's actually part of my rebranding because, according to my roommate, Madison? I think you mean Stephanie. Right. Yep, you're right. Stephanie. Yep. Stephanie. According to Stephanie... This is all part of rebranding because before the whole smoothie accident, I was completely against relationships. Like, I didn't want anything to do with them. And now my heart is open, and I am ready to experience this with Doyle. It's very refreshing. Well, I definitely see that you are the happiest you've been yet. So I'll have to agree with you. I think hitting Control-Alt-Delete on my life has been a blessing. And I'm excited to no longer be the man with no past, but rather be the man with a bright future. Well, that is just great to hear and an excellent way for us to end our session today. Ugh, Tamara, this is the saddest part of any session, the end. I will say, if I have not said it before, I am so grateful, I'm so appreciative of all that you have done to help me through this entire memory loss ordeal. There's just a very nice level of comfort 
and familiarity with you that I, I just love. So thank you. That is so very kind of you, Paul. Before I go, I was wondering, would it be possible to have Doyle come into a session one time and we can chat, he can meet you, and we can just have a nice grand old time? This is your time, Paul. Absolutely. Great. Well, I will check his schedule and we'll get back to you with a day. Thanks so much. Okay. Well, that owl goes by faster and faster every week. Doyle, I am so happy that you like waiting for me, but you don't have to. If you have things you need to do. No, no, no. I get to catch up on all my emails uninterrupted, and plus I get to read about all the latest celebrities and the gossip and who's marrying who. I just mm, love that Justin Hartley. One day I will recognize who these people are, but not today. Hmm. Honestly, though, I'm so happy that you like coming with me, though, because I asked Tamara if you could come into a session with me one time. Like... Couples counseling? Yeah, not quite. I just want her to see us together and how happy you are. I just want her to see this part of my life. Well, if it makes you happy, then I'm all in. I don't know what I did to deserve such an amazing boyfriend like you. I love you so much. Mm, I love you too. All right, let's get out of here. Stephanie, thank you for letting me stay with you and Paul while he recovers. Of course. It's the least I could do. I think Paul should be home shortly. Oh, I hope you two weren't waiting around for me. Oh, no, not at all. As a matter of fact, we were just having a lovely conversation. Stephanie was telling me a fascinating story about some of her puppy clients. I was therapy. It was fine. I mean, I still don't have any of my memories, if that's what you're wondering. Paul, these things take time. Stephanie's right. I know on my stories, whenever one of the characters gets amnesia, they always regain their memory over time. Well, Mom, my life is not some silly soap opera, okay? I don't know if I'm actually going to get these memories back, and I'm starting to think that that's just fine. What's that supposed to mean? It means that if I'm okay with not getting my memories back, you need to be okay with that too. Paul, please don't snap at your mother. She's only trying to help. I'm sorry. It's just you both are expecting me to become someone that I don't want to be anymore. What if I like the idea of starting from scratch and not remembering every bad thing that happened in my past? But what about the good times? Don't you want to remember those? I think that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I mean, if it means I don't have any baggage or drama. But how will you know where you're going if you don't know where you've been? Profound. I know that I'm going to go lie down. I'll see you. He doesn't mean to snap at you. Stephanie, with all due respect, please do not talk to me about what my son does or does not mean. We are here in this situation because of you. Whether intentional or not, it was your... Silly California hippy-dippy health kick that put my son in the hospital in the first place. I don't know how many times I have to tell you how sorry I am. Paul is my best friend. I have, I have felt the guilt of this mistake since the moment we found out what happened. But it was just that, okay? It was a mistake. An accident. I don't know how many times I have to apologize to you. You will never be enough. Know that. You better pray he regains his memory. Every day. I'm so happy you called. I'm happy I called too. What's going on? Ugh, I just blew up my mother and Stephanie again. It's like they are expecting me to become the person that I once was, and I don't know if I'm ever going to be him again, and every time I see them, it's like I'm a constant failure. Well, what if you don't see them anymore? At least not as much. I mean, that seems highly unlikely because I've 
live with Stephanie, and God knows how much longer my mother will be here. What if you don't live there anymore? Are you asking me what I think you're asking? I'm asking if you would like to move in with me. Oh my gosh, of, of course, yes, yes. <laughs> Great, well, we'll get you out of there and shacked up with me in no time. Oh my god, you are perfect. I love you, Doyle. Love you too. <laughs> Hello? I asked and he accepted. Phase one's complete. <laughs> <laughs>